In this video, let's learn about the histology of the vermiform appendix. The vermiform appendix is the narrowest part of the GIT. The structure of the colon and the vermiform appendix are different by the following differences. The crypt of the vermiform appendix is poorly formed. The longitudinal muscle coat of the vermiform appendix is complete and is equally thick and all round, but the tinea coli are not present. So the tinea coli are not present. And the longitudinal muscle coat is complete and all thick round like that of the colon. And the submucosa of the vermiform appendix contains the abundant lymphoid tissue that may completely fill the submucosa and the lymphoid tissue is not present at the birth. So you should remember that this lymphoid tissue that is present in the submucosa is not present at the birth. The lymphoid tissue gradually increases and it is best observed in the children in about 10 years. And later, we can note the progressive reduction in the quantity of the lymphoid tissue. So now coming to the proper histology. So the vermiform appendix is the narrowest part in the gastrointestinal canal and it is a tubular structure. As you already know, the innermost layer of the whole GIT is the mucosa and in the vermiform appendix, the innermost layer is also the mucosa. So this layer is the mucosa layer and the innermost lining of this mucosa is lined by the simple columnar epithelium with goblet cells. You can see the presence of the goblet cells here. And the crypts in the vermiform appendix are poorly formed. So this layer is the mucosa. And you can see the presence of the scattered lymphocytes and aggregated nodules of the lymphocytes in the lamina propria of the mucosa. So these are the lymphocytic aggregations which are present in the lamina propria. And these lymphocytic aggregations, they continue to the next layer that is the submucosa. They also show a variable number of the lymphatic nodules. So this layer is the submucosa. We can also see the presence of some lymphatic nodules in the submucosa which extends from the mucosa. The submucosa is surrounded by a smooth muscle layer that is the muscularis externa which is followed by the serosa. This inner lining is called as the muscularis mucosa which differentiate from the innermost lining that is the mucosa to the next layer that is the submucosa. So this lining is called as the muscularis mucosa and it differentiate from the mucosa to the submucosa. So this lining is the muscularis mucosa. And this layer is the submucosa which have few lymphatic nodules in it. And this submucosa is surrounded by a layer of the smooth muscle which is called as the muscularis externa. So this layer is called as the muscularis externa. Don't get confused in between the muscularis mucosa and the muscularis externa. The muscularis mucosa is a layer which is present in the mucosa and the muscularis externa it is the third layer of the whole GIT and this muscularis externa is followed by the serosa. The longitudinal muscle coat is completely and equally thick in all the organ of this vermiform appendix and you should remember the tinea coli is not present in the vermiform appendix and this is the outermost layer that is the serosa. So remember in the vermiform appendix you cannot see the presence of the tinea coli. The normal tinea coli are present in the muscularis externa, but in the vermiform appendix, the tinea coli are absent. This is the main differentiation point in between the appendix and the colon. And the crypts are poorly present in the vermiform appendix. And remember, the lining epithelium here is the simple columnar epithelium which contains the goblet cells. So this is the simple columnar epithelium which contains the goblet cells. And you can see the presence of many lymphoid aggregations here. And the submucosa also show the lymphatic nodules. So these are the lymphatic nodules which are present in submucosa also. So this layer is the mucosa. In this simple muscle coat is the muscularis mucosae. In the another layer is the submucosa. This is the second layer. While the mucosa is the first layer, the submucosa is the second layer. It contains the lymphatic nodules which are loosely aggregated. And the third layer is the muscularis externa. 
So you can see the submucosa is surrounded by a layer of the smooth muscle that is called as the muscularis externa. In the last layer is the serosa. So this is the serosa. You can also see the presence of the blood vessels and the adipocytes. These are the blood vessels present and these are the adipocytes. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.